Hello and good morning, Nonenum9, Nonenox here, and I bring another industry video. Today's intro to video is going to be focusing on creating a unit selector, being able to deposit mined resources into a container, and better overall mining. This will continue from an earlier mining video, so I suggest watching them first if you want to follow along. Or if you're just interested in seeing how any of it works, you can go to any of the chapters. As such, the videos will be linked in the description, and let's get started. Alright, first things first is we are going to change a few things. One is to have a second sorter that will actually determine the resource we are mining. The first sorter is now going to change into being a unit selector. So all sorter ones now need to change over to sorter two, which I believe that is the only thing we have right now. Looks like it. Now we want this to be able to turn off when we don't want it doing anything or just to have it there in general. So we need to add a sensor, which we're going to have a sorter unit. And it's going to be config in sorter one. Now we'll take a jump here. This is going to be if sorter unit strict equal no we will have this just go all the way back up here that will make it to where it should not do anything it should have a unit under its control but after a few seconds it should just disappear as they have no command there that will be able to turn off and we want to be able to use this to select the units. So we're going to have copper be mono and lead be poly. Later, we will be changing sorter unit equal null to a different location. But for now, we need to be able to choose our unit. So let's take another one of these. We are going to change this to Again, sorter unit, if it is equal to at copper, we want this to be mono. And now at lead for the second one, we are going to grab an end, throw it right here. And now take this, we'll make a new one. This will now be at poly. That and that. We'll move this down over here. And that should let us choose which units we want. And there we have it. We have the poly selected. Now if we turn that off, wait for him to unbind after a few seconds. We also gonna move him. Oh wait, he's still back. Yeah, there we go. We're gonna move him over here. And now if we select copper. Since they are already mining lead, if I were to change this. He's gonna try to, but he's too far away. Or just too close to the core right now. Oh there we go. Oh, it's working. Now we need to, instead of turning it off like that, we want them to unbind properly, as well as to switch properly. We are going to put all of our unbinding code at the bottom and have a new section. So we're going to add an end to separate the last section. We're going to add a jump. We're going to name this unbound equal to one that will be where our new jumps will go to this will be set up soon we're going to add a new set make this unbound move this up just under null this will be used to keep track of whether or not we are unbound and now let's get some more right above controlled we are going to have a new set of variables 
his unit at copper and his unit at lead. This will be used to compare to the sorter unit to make sure to check whether or not we need to switch. Now we need to come down here to where the commands have started. Let's go ahead and copy that. Change this to his unit, not sorter unit. If it's not the same, we will go down to our new unbinding command, which now we can go up here to null. And now instead of that, it will come all the way down here. Now we want them to go to the core. So we will copy these few things, change this to move. And we are going to add a within. Actually, we can just copy this. Add a within to track whether or not it's within the core. Uh, radius will be 3, then 4. Let's add it in here to loop. And let's add a jump. If within 4 is true, we will unbind and set variable unbound to 1. Now we can move this here, and we move this here. Now, whenever it is unbound, it will skip this variable to setting it to zero, as long as it's null. It'll go down here. If there was a unit, and it hasn't been set yet, it'll go down and do this, bring the unit to the core. Once it's within, it'll unbind it, then set it to one. Once it comes back down here, now that it is one, it'll just come down here and skip everything else. This should keep it from being weird. Now we have the poly here. Let's go ahead and change it to copper. There we go. And it's switched. It's here because it's mining lead already. But now if we were to go back to lead, bring the poly, and now to null. All right, we got that set. Now we want to improve the mining. So we're going to go all the way down to where we have the original code. We are going to no longer locate. What we are going to do is move this here. The held item is the ore. We want to not have this anymore, no more end, no more move, and no more within processor. We also don't need this anymore. What we will need is some more sensors. So we're going to or X. At X for an X location of sort of two and or Y, the Y of sort of two. Now that we have new information, we need to move held item equals or C to get that new information just in case. And we need an operation because we cannot mine where the sorter is. We need to mine just below it. So we are going to take or Y. We're going to take that and we are going to minus it by one to go below it. Now we are going to grab a poly. Now there's no ore here, so I need to move this here. I will do that and we'll be right back. All right, we have moved over here. Let us go ahead and grab a poly. And it is now mining right underneath it. Now, if we move this over here, we want it to be copper. So we want to make sure that it knows it's copper. There. If we were to do this, it would see that it's the wrong ore. It would put it back and it would not do anything really. 
just like it one so. Now that we have that, we have one more thing to do. That is to make them deposit into the container. Now we need to make sure it knows when it exists. So we are going to grab sensor. Bring this right here. This is the deposit code. We want to intercept it. When in this can't exist, if container exists, container one. And check for add type. Add type will do at container in container one since it is a container. We're going to add an end because we're adding a new code at the bottom. We are going to add a jump. If turn exist is equal to at container. If it's null, this one at work. If it's at container, that means it knows it exists. Now we need to get the location. So on x at x in container one. Now to get the x value, this will get the y value at y in container one. And we can go up here and move this down. So if it exists, it'll intercept the deposit code and go down here. Now we want it to approach the new location on X, on Y, radius six, and we want it to deposit. So item drop to container one amount held cut. Now on the off chance they have the wrong or we need to fix that. So we are going to intercept where it's going to deposit. If the held item is not the configuration, we want it to deposit. That should free up the inventory to not break. Now, if everything done, we get a new poly because we edited the code. This one will unbind eventually. Come on. And move this here. Now, if we link this here, once it is full, it should connect to the container. There we go. And then if we unlink it, it should go back to the core. If we link it in the middle of it moving, it will properly move to the locations, as you can see. Now for one more bonus thing, we're going to change this to mono. Make these monos. We're going to get sand here. We'll make it polys. Now they're free. Oh wait. And we are going to unload them. There it is. Kill, 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 kill. We need power. you're able to decide where it goes you can do things like this faster crafting I guess though so we do need it to go faster so let's go ahead and throw junctions right here move the power over here and we are going to there we go does it faster? Does it faster? And that is the intro to unit selecting, better mining, and choosing where to deposit the resources. I hope you guys learned something and that this will be helpful for any of your guys' projects. 
and I will see you guys in another video. Later.